What if I told you the next big tech shift won't happen on your phone or your laptop, but right on your face? We're talking glasses that give you real-time info, live translation, instant navigation, hands-free AI, and a whole new way of seeing the world without pulling a single device out of your pocket. And the crazy part is that all of this isn't a distant fantasy anymore. It's already taking shape. So today, we're looking at the five smart glasses you'll absolutely want to keep an eye on in 2026. Number five, Amazon Jayhawk. If you've been waiting for Amazon to finally make something more futuristic than the Echo Frames, this is the one everyone's been curious about. Amazon Jayhawk is the company's internal codename for a new pair of consumer-focused AR glasses, and from everything that's publicly confirmed, it seems like Amazon's getting ready to make a pretty big jump. Road to VR and Android Central both mentioned that Jayhawk has a full-color display sitting in front of one eye, so it's already in a completely different category compared to the audio-only Echo Frames. It's not just Alexa on your face anymore. It's Amazon stepping into actual augmented reality. And here's where things get more interesting. Multiple sources confirm that Jayhawk will have a built-in camera, microphones, and speakers. So right away, you can imagine hands-free communication, real-time visual capture, and a much smarter heads-up experience. Android Police also points out that Jayhawk is being built for everyday users rather than enterprise workers which means the design should feel more like normal glasses instead of something bulky or technical. The Verge adds that this is Amazon's first consumer eyewear with a real display, so it's a major shift from everything they've made before. And there's also the timeline that's been floating around. Road to VR reports that Amazon's aiming for a launch sometime around late 2026 to early 2027. That's still a while away, but it suggests the project's far enough along for prototypes and internal planning to be in motion. At the same time, the sources highlight challenges that every AR product faces. Things like battery life, heat, display brightness, and overall comfort are still tough problems. And it's unclear how Amazon's going to balance all of that in a lightweight frame. But overall, Jayhawk feels like Amazon finally taking AR seriously. A full color display, a casual everyday design, built-in audio, and an actual camera all packed into one pair of glasses. And if they manage to pull it off in a way that's comfortable and reliable, Jayhawk could end up being one of the most interesting wearables Amazon's ever made. Number four, Ray-Ban Meta Dual Display. If you've ever wanted glasses that look completely normal but still give you a tiny screen in your line of sight, these are the ones people can't stop talking about. The Ray-Ban Meta Dual Display is Meta's first pair of Ray-Bans with an in-lens display. And honestly, it finally feels like the kind of smart glasses everyone's been waiting for. Meta's official announcement explains that the idea is simple. You put them on and you instantly get navigation cues, AI responses, translations, and little bits of info right when you need them. You don't have to reach for your phone or break whatever you're doing because it just appears naturally in your view. And here's the cool part. The Verge's hands-on confirms that the display actually feels useful in everyday life. You can peek at directions, check updates, see quick prompts, and interact with Meta AI without taking your eyes off the world around you. It's not trying to be some full AR headset. It's more like a subtle heads-up display that fits inside a pair of glasses you'd already wear. The Guardian even pointed out how surprising it is that Ray-Ban now has a pair of glasses with a real built-in display while still keeping that classic frame shape. Meta also upgraded everything around the display. Their announcement mentions better audio, a sharper camera for hands-free photos and videos, and improved battery performance compared to earlier models. And the best part is that the glasses still look clean, lightweight, and wearable. Nothing bulky or awkward just regular Ray-Bans that happen to have a tiny display sitting inside the lens. And since 9 to 5 Google notes how this version sits above the standard non-display models, it kind of feels like Meta finally delivered something more futuristic. A stylish frame you can wear every day, a helpful little display that shows up when you need it, and Meta AI working in the background. It's probably the closest we've come to everyday wearable AR that still looks completely normal. Number three, Samsung SMO 
2.0.0p. Samsung's been quietly shaping its own take on smart glasses, and the SMO 2.0.0p is the clearest look at what they're trying to do. It's not trying to replace your phone or act like a full XR headset. According to Android Authority and Sam Mobile, it's simply a lightweight pair of glasses with transition lenses and a built-in camera, which already makes it way more approachable than most next-gen wearables. And here's where it gets pretty cool. Multiple sources, including Android headlines, mention that the SM0200P uses transition lenses that automatically adjust to lighting. When you're outside, they tint like sunglasses, and when you walk back indoors, they clear up again. That alone makes them feel more useful in daily life. Connectivity is another thing that keeps coming up. Android Authority, Sam Mobile, and T3 all highlight that these glasses don't support mobile data. They're not standalone, so they depend on your phone through Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. That choice keeps them light and helps avoid bulky hardware. LiveMint also points out that the overall design leans towards something discreet and lifestyle-focused instead of trying to deliver a full AR experience. There's also where Samsung's placing it. T3 clarifies that the SMO 200P sits completely separate from the Galaxy XR headset. The headset is all about immersive mixed reality, while these glasses are built for simpler tasks and everyday comfort. They're meant to blend into your routine instead of taking it over. If Samsung gets the comfort right and keeps the features smooth, the SMO 200P could be one of those wearables you put on without thinking about it, which is exactly the direction smart glasses probably need to go. Number two, Android XR. Google's been hinting for a while that it wants another shot at immersive technology, and Android XR is the clearest sign that it's officially back in the game. According to the Google Developers blog, this is a dedicated platform built on top of Android and designed specifically for mixed reality. And since it's being co-developed with Samsung and Qualcomm, it already feels like a far more serious effort than Google's older VR attempts. Instead of experimenting, Google seems to be building a proper ecosystem this time. What makes it more exciting is how all the pieces fit together. The Verge explains that Android XR will act as the unified operating system for Samsung's upcoming XR headset, creating a shared foundation similar to how Android powers different phones today. That means the headset won't be running a one-off OS. It'll be running a fully recognized platform that Google intends to support long-term, complete with spatial interfaces, immersive app environments, and system-level XR features. Android Authority also highlights how Qualcomm is playing a major role here. The Snapdragon XR series is expected to be at the heart of the hardware, which makes sense since Qualcomm already powers most current AR and VR devices. And because Android XR is being built with these chips in mind, Performance, sensors, and tracking should feel more integrated instead of patched together. Engadget points out that Google's adapting core apps like YouTube, Maps, and the Google Assistant into spatial versions for the platform. So instead of just viewing floating windows, Android XR aims to offer experiences that feel native to mixed reality from day one. Ars Technica adds that this approach is very different from Google's older projects. It's not a phone-based VR solution and not a lightweight AR experiment. It's a full operating system specifically made for XR devices. If Google, Samsung, and Qualcomm deliver on this, Android XR could end up becoming the backbone of an entire ecosystem of headsets, apps, and immersive tools instead of being another tech demo that fades away. Number 1. Apple Glasses when people talk about the future of wearable tech, Apple's AR glasses are always part of the conversation. And even though they're not close to being released, the idea isn't just a rumor floating around. Bloomberg's reporting makes it clear that Apple's been working on lightweight AR glasses as a separate project from the Vision Pro. They've tested early prototypes and continue refining the concept, but it's still very much a long game effort. What's interesting is how Apple seems to be thinking about these glasses. The Verge notes that the company's trying to shrink the kinds of experiences you see on the Vision Pro into something small, light, and easy to wear. But that's where the real challenge starts. The Wall Street Journal and Financial Times both highlight how difficult it is to fit high-quality displays, 
battery systems, processors, and sensors into something that looks like a normal pair of glasses. Apple hasn't found a way around all those technical constraints yet, which is why the project is moving slowly. There's also the bigger picture Apple keeps hinting at. Tim Cook's been saying for years that AR is the future and that it'll eventually be as essential as the smartphone. So it makes sense that Apple's quietly pushing toward glasses that feel natural enough for everyday use. Bloomberg and the FT reinforced this idea by explaining that Apple sees AR glasses as the eventual mainstream device, with the Vision Pro acting more like the early stepping stone. And because these glasses are still deep in development, there aren't any final design details or finished features out in the world yet. What's confirmed is the direction. Apple wants something lightweight, something you can wear comfortably, and something that blends digital information into your surroundings without the bulk of a headset. If Apple manages to solve the battery, display, and heat challenges, Apple Glasses could become one of the most ambitious products the company's ever made. But for now, they're shaping up quietly behind the scenes, waiting for the technology to catch up with the idea. And that's it for today. I hope this helped you get a clearer look at the smart glasses that are shaping up to be the biggest ones to watch in 2026. And while we wait for the full reveal, if you want to check out the smart glasses that are actually available right now, I'll put the links in the top comments. If this breakdown helped even a little, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss what's coming next. And if you like this one, YouTube thinks you'll probably enjoy the next one too. Thanks for watching.